Growing takes time. Ranch Systems has the tools to help you quickly get the information you need so you can get on with your day. Check your water, crop status, and weather from real sensors in your field. To learn more, contact us today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the annual Tree and Vine Expo. It's been a wonderful day. I'm here with uh, Justin Tanner, one of our speakers, a postdoc uh, at UC Davis, and he actually is going to be the, the new uh, viticulture farm advisor for San Joaquin County. So we're really excited to have that position filled. Yeah, I'm very excited to start the position. Paul Vertigal was such a beloved member of the wine growing community in San Joaquin County. I know I have a big shoes to fill. And then you talk today uh, from your, your current position as a postdoc and the research you've done at UC Davis on red blotch disease. And, you know, we've got that in vineyards all over the state, right? And so with growers that are like, oh, you know, we're still producing well, but they don't want to take out the vineyards. It's, it's, it's a difficult call to make, especially if some of those vineyards are historic, right? They've been around for a long time and or they're producing well. Or maybe they just put them in and they're like, why? Why? Why do we want to switch this out, you know? So what can you tell us about red blotch, which you found as far as its, its real impact on, uh, on the crop? Definitely. So yes, growers are interested in what they can do to keep these infected vineyards going. And so we looked at a couple different management practices, cluster thinning and irrigation, to see what effect they could have on improving fruit quality. And what we found, uh, one of the main mechanisms the way the virus is affecting vines, it's kind of trapping the sugars, the photosimilates that are made in photosynthesis in the leaves and not allowing them to fully translocate the way they would normally in a healthy vine. And unfortunately, neither of these practices eliminate that problem. So with either practice, you know, in healthy vines, you can adjust vine balance with, with crop level, improve fruit quality, and then uh, with deficit irrigation, you can also improve fruit quality with moderate stress. It's just not working the same in red blotch affected vines. So what's your recommendation then? I know you don't want to say like, well, pull out those vines, but it's a, it's a hard call to make. It is, yes. Uh, unfortunately, there are no curative methods uh, when you're dealing with red blotch virus. Once the vines are infected, they, are, they have the, the virus. And so one of the most effective ways at dealing with this is starting clean, staying clean, planting clean material, and then monitoring your vineyard for any symptoms of the virus, and then uh, confirming that with testing, and then ultimately removing any vines that are positive for the virus. Is that one of the viruses that can lead to grapevine, sudden grapevine collapse, potentially, if you have another disease? That's an interesting question. So definitely uh, leaf roll is the main culprit. And then the sensitivity to leaf roll uh, on certain rootstocks coupled with another vitivirus is what we believe is causing the complex of sudden vine collapse. However, we don't know what role the red blotch may have, well, co-infection with leaf roll as both uh, viruses influence the, the same kind of symptomology with red leaves it could totally be possible that you have both viruses present uh, resulting in a sudden vine collapse, you know, contributing to that complex. Yeah, it's just like the vines, you know, can have a compromised immune system, right? So they're just more susceptible to getting other impacts of stress and disease and things like that. So really got to do our part and, and uh, taking care of these vines. Prevention is key. Uh, we're excited to have Justin again, you know, coming in, filling those those shoes that Paul Vertigal did in the uh, San Joaquin County, and look forward to hearing more from you. Thank you. Thank you, Malcolm. Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.